Hey y'all, welcome to Miss Clark's chemistry class. I am here with a virtual lab over the types of reactions. I have a virtual lab on just double replacement reactions. These reactions are going to be all of the other different types. Synthesis, decomposition, single replacement, and combustion. All right guys, let's get started. You're going to need a reactivity series to help you predict the products of single replacement reactions. You know, that's that list of elements and some are higher than others and the higher ones are strong enough to replace the ones below it. Make sure you have that. If not, pause the video now and go get it. We've got magnesium in the presence of oxygen. we're going to break down ammonium carbonate. Now when you have a solid, to break it down we will first need to heat it up. So I'm first going to put some of this solid into a test tube and I'm going to heat it up to start breaking it down. Now we need to figure out what this ammonium carbonate is breaking down into because it's not going to just break down into its simple elements like we've been learning in class. So we're going to do a few tests. I'm first going to waft the vapors and see if I can identify any smells coming off of it that way. I'm then going to use a wood splint. I'm going to light a wood splint on fire and then I'm going to test the gas. If it's oxygen, the embers on my wood splint are going to relight. If it's hydrogen, when I dip the stick down with the embers glowing, it's going to pop. If it's carbon dioxide and I dip the embers down, it is immediately going to snuff out the ember or snuff out the flame. At the very end of this station, make sure you're paying attention to those two important pieces. Ooh, that's ammonia. Ammonia's chemical formula is NH3. Okay, now I'm gonna test the gas. I'm gonna get my wood splint, get the fire out, and I'm gonna dip it down. Oh, did we see that, in, that ember? That ember immediately went black. Let's try again. Let me keep the gas going. So you get your wood splint, I'm gonna leave it lit this time. gas this reaction produces. So we need a comparison sound. So I'm going to blow this balloon up with my own carbon dioxide and we are going to listen to the sound that it makes when I set it on fire and ignite it. And then later in the reaction I'm going to do the same thing for the gas that I capture so we can compare the sound, see if we can figure out what kind of gas it is.
gas of this reaction. This reaction is breaking down hydrogen peroxide, but we need a catalyst, potassium iodide. This is going to be our catalyst. A catalyst in a reaction is neither a product or a reactant. It is just something that we use to speed up the reaction. Sometimes a reaction needs a little boost of energy to get started, and a catalyst will add that, but it is not part of the reaction. It's not used up. It's still present at the end. oxygen in to our reaction chamber. Okay, 
so I put our potassium chlorate in our test tube. Like I said, we've got to introduce heat. Our catalyst in this reaction is going to be sugar. This demonstration is called Gummy Bear Walks the Plank. I think you'll see why in just a second. So first I need to melt the potassium chlorate, then we'll introduce the catalyst. Okay, it looks like we've got it all melted. Are we ready? For this reaction, we're going to react sodium, sodium metal, that's right, alkali metal, right from the periodic table, with water. Now to figure out what the products are going to be, I'm going to use an indicator, phenolphthalein. Phenolphthalein detects a base. Bases are any compounds that end with hydroxide, OH. Okay, let's see what happens. Remember, sodium is an alkali metal, very, very reactive. It's so reactive, in fact, we have to store it very carefully. It's stored in this container with all of this stuff. I like to call it kitty litter stuff. It's really not kitty litter, but it does absorb the moisture because remember, sodium reacts very violently with water. We're about to see. So I've got to take all of this stuff off of it. Let me show you. Wow. All that. So inside that container, there's another bag. Finally, we get to our sodium. Sodium. It's stored in oil, another protective layer to keep water away from it. Okay, I'm gonna get a piece of sodium out and show you what sodium looks like. A piece of sodium, it oxidizes in the oil, so it kinda looks whitish on the outside, but when I cut it with a butter knife, you can see that it's very, very, very shiny inside. Okay, so again, I'm gonna put a little phenolphthalein in our beaker to see if the reaction creates a base or not. Again, we're expecting a violent behavior, so we're going to do this in the vent hood. So hope you enjoyed these reactions and I really 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 wish you could have been in the lab with us. They're a lot of fun. Until next time, bye y'all!